Hey, welcome back. My name is June. I am a hobbyist photographer and I am starting this photo project or I have started in January called Welcome to 30. I'll provide a link down below if you want to go read about the project, but essentially I'm just forcing myself to use my camera until it dies. Either the shutter goes or the camera breaks. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Could be 10 years, could be 20 years, might never make it. We'll see. But every 10,000 shutter actuations, I want to put together a little zine. So we've actually hit 10K. I need to do a lot of catch up. We're going to do a lot of culling today, a lot of critiquing of photos today, and let's get started. So here we are in Lightroom. I have been posting most of these on Instagrams, which is why a lot of the preliminary culling is actually completed. All the one stars are just photos that I want to keep. Two stars I typically post either on the blog or Instagram. And then three stars, I think, is the goal for today. I want to do that first pass. And and then I'll probably do one more pass of all the 10,000 photos for this first little zine I want to put together and those will be four stars. So this first photo here, I, I do like the, the guy's jacket, this yellow jacket here is a little bit, the tone is a little bit off, but more or less you have this kind of cool shape here and then the pink in the middle, but I think compositionally I don't like it too much. This one I like, I do wish there wasn't a car here and not that person in the background. These I'm fine with, they kind of blend in more nicely. Uh, I do like the little, I don't know, maybe I'll keep that in. This one, I do like the lines. Uh, this one is extremely cropped. I wish I had a longer focal length here, but the, the nice thing about the Leica like MP240 files is that even with extreme crops, I'll show you here just how extreme, yeah. So this is extremely tightly cropped, but I love the textures that come out of that. I really like the grain and I don't know. I've been doing that a lot more lately. In terms of the photo itself though, don't think so. Becoming very apparent to me that I like playing with color. Um, that's just a miss. This one, I do like the parts of bodies. I still feel torn about having people, strangers faces in photos. So I want to, or I feel myself gravitating towards just getting more um, parts of bodies, parts of faces, um, so it's less easily identifiable. This is shooting from the hip, big miss there. I wish I had gotten that even here. Need to practice my focusing. This is I like the one, two thing with the two people up there. I think the other thing to keep in mind is as I'm going through these photos, I'm starting to try to think of themes uh, I should have done portraits of everybody I shot with. Like if there was just a little mini chapter or a mini section in the zine of people I've met along the way, I could have better portraits there. This one, I don't like the shot. Um, this one, I like. One of the themes that I think is going to be very apparent is the sense of isolation. I don't know exactly what it's going to mean. I like the faces looking over here. People waiting for the bus as this guy zooms by. And then a little bit more just documenting this day with the parade, I believe, for Lunar New Year's. Yeah, so we're just making our way through. Nothing that's really standing out to me. I like this one. I've already three started. Something about uh, people who, with camera stuff, we tend to kind of enter our own little worlds. Uh, I wish I had gotten for context a photo of what this person was photographing, but it's actually all blank. It was like paper, I want to say, just, I don't know, just emptiness. So it was interesting. And I was curious to see what he's capturing uh, as life just continues to go on. And this one I liked, I liked very much the, how do you describe this pose? But the photo itself is, is just so lackluster. So I don't know. But three started for now. So this one would fall into that. Yeah, people I've met along the way. Very interesting story about this. I've made a short about it. Or actually I made a video about it too. Uh, I like that. I like that too. But... Port Moody. I've three started these ones already. Looks like I've already gone through a little bit. Yeah, so these two are both three stars as well. I don't know. I just like this element here, that little rock. I like the shape here. Horizon needs a little work though. Uh,
playing around with a slightly different editing style with this set. My presets that I've made, all of them are works in progress though. But yeah, this set, I think I was relying on the Kodak Gold simulation or emulation. Not that I've ever shot film, so it was just based off of a lot of different YouTube tutorials and then adjusted to taste. This is a fun day though. Uh, it was with uh, boys that I've known my whole life from my hometown. Um, yeah, I like this one. So we can just skip through these. I'm trying to manual focus with the rangefinder uh, um, for this type of fast moving. It's not even really fast moving if you think about it. They're just kicking a ball around, but that was a pleasant challenge. I actually really like this photo because we have the main subject here, but it's kind of secondary, even though it's dominant in frame because the focus is here. And yeah, I just like this interaction. What else we got? What else we got? Don't think there's anything much else from this day. So we just started to get sun, which has been a game changer. Sometimes my preview photos are going to, or it's like, don't know how to describe it. I love these scenes. This is probably my favorite photo in the past little bit, at least, or in February, maybe. I just love this scene. I don't know, something about it, the vibe, a little bit of sunlight. I would say I like the pairings here, although this is a trio. I really like this two to one ratio. I was using it a lot more in January and February. I think in March, I haven't used it that much, but I need to bring it back because I really like it. This one, I just like the shadows, but I don't know. And obviously the man and his dog, but there's no real interaction there. So I feel like it's a weak photo. This one I like. I like the running, catching up to your buddies. Again, alone, but I just don't like the photo that much or the composition. I don't know, something about it don't like it this one seems like a nice little scene from life but don't know this i just thought this was funny the kid looking over probably looking at the water but also might be looking at the person so i like that atmospheric out of focus oh no this was eugene's birthday celebrated with my family Love this expression on my mom. This one of three star just because I think it's an important moment. I don't know why I like this one so much, but it's very satisfying, very aesthetic. Although we got some mess at the bottom there. I really like the colors in this one, although the shapes, it's a little bit off. I don't know. It just it's not as satisfying. This one too, probably need a wider angle lens. Don't like that. Skipping ahead again. I like this one, I don't know, satisfying. This one as well, just very peaceful, kind of quiet, pretty scene. Skip ahead, skip ahead. This is super interesting. I don't like the photo, but just that patch of red from the sunset. This is the original. So it was actually red in real life. That was really interesting. I'm trying to play around with like two, one here, but kind of weak. I like this, I like this shape. I like the splash of sunset again and how isolated it is to the window. I'm going to keep that. A lot of misses. This one I couldn't figure out compositionally. I think I shot this from the hip. So the horizon was a very off. Um, but B, I really liked the blue tying in with the outfits of the blue here. But I really like this shadow as well. And I wish, I don't know, I wish I could have taken three steps back to get a little bit more in frame and then she's way too close to the edge of the frame and this is cut off but part of it i don't know it, it, no, that's a two star <sighs> this is funny this is also in, in the reel that i made this guy was shouting to have his photo taken i have my airpods in so i couldn't really tell i really like this smile though and then just the t-shirt and the bench color I wish these two weren't in the frame. This one I might three star actually. I might just keep it just for that people section. Um, anything good? Uh, 
Man, this neighborhood is so pretty. But no. I like this, but there's a better one. Uh, I like this. Beginning to get a headache. Oh my god. Uh, this I shot from the hip. I was glad that I got focus ish. And the photo's eight, but I think that's it. Ah, uh, this one too. I wish I had gotten it a little bit earlier, but also, nah. This one, nah. But that's about it. I like this scene. It's pretty, but that's it. Uh, the sky is beautiful. I do wish the sky was more central instead of off to the side, uh, especially for this image, but I think there's... Okay, so this one I tried to center a little bit more, and the kid's father came, so that was cool. But I like this emptiness a little bit more with how the people are laid out or spaced out, and then there's that little sea bus in the background and got the horizon there. So even the sky is a lot you know, more prominent in frame here. I think the focus is more on people. So I'm just going to three star this one. And we get to see a little bit of downtown Vancouver. Now, is it this one or this one? I like this. Uh, nah, nah. I like this image, not for the image, if that makes sense. But contextually, if I'm thinking about it, if I pair it with that uh, guy with the camera in downtown Vancouver from before, there is that sense of just being in your own little world that I think is emerging as a potential theme like this photo own little world this one with the headphones walking at night own little world i might keep that my beautiful fiance my ugly mug this is a nice little birthday dinner I like this restaurant but i remember actually distantly leaving this day with feeling like there's no good photos except i do kind of like this one the motion of it but and the i don't know something about the i was gonna say composition but i feel like it is actually quite heavy on the right here come on tap so yeah nothing from here i think i just like the lights that's about it I like the dude's face that's about it i feel like there's too much space on the right here because i could crop that in a bit or a lot maybe three star for now think about it later everybody on their phones but the image itself compositionally is a little weak i think this is a bit stronger but the focus is a bit off um, but i just love when the sunlight is hitting a face directly like that nah this one i like it because there's a face here and a face here these two are both looking down this one kind of ruins it a little bit uh, and then these two are also looking up but i also kind of like that I don't know. These two are looking down. These two are looking up. I see a nice reflection here. These people continue to look down at their phones. Or maybe, yeah. Uh, this is a better image than the last one. I'm going to keep it as a two. Some filler stuff. <sighs> yeah, this is just like a little documenting a little event at work. And then there was a fire alarm, which is funny more aesthetic stuff again body parts but missed focus so i was trying to play with the reflection an interesting angle but doesn't seem to be saying anything this one there's an image way later that uh, another person has a very similar outfit so i might pair those two but i really don't really like the outfit or the image that much it's a fun night out didn't take any photos or pretty much nothing. Alright. Anything from this day. This is cool. But that's it. I wish this person was not in the frame. The pose is nice. The isolation is nice. A little bit of tie-in with colors here. Um, I like being able to see the street signs, just gives it a little bit of context and the look of this building as well. I quite enjoy, but I don't really like this tone of teal or whatever disgusting color that is. Shots fired, I guess. Nah, I just thought this is interesting. I'm not going to even try to read that. It's just, it confuses me. Maybe in the future, if I get more of these, 
but right now I don't think I've taken too many photos of writings around the city. This guy asked if my camera was an M3. Cool conversation there, so maybe I'll do. People I've met along the way. Gotta be more mindful of these poles sticking out of people's heads though. I have a couple of those. Pink, pink, pink. Again, just the color. The nice little bit of background environment. Could do without this car. I might keep this. I might. This, I just love how there's a big contrast, right? Just these pastel colors versus these more industrial colors. It does stand out. I might keep it. Again, I'm just thinking of that potential theme of being out of place, being isolated. And it might go nicely, just colors wise, with this photo. I'm gonna revisit that white balance though. This maybe match them up a little bit better. Red tracksuit. Love the vibe. Goes with the stop sign. Goes with the other bits of red, but that's strong enough. So Jason, very fun time with him. This photo I took actually because my friend Julian from day four of this project, he has a similar Mini Cooper. Forgot to send that photo to him actually. I like the colors. There's a lot of actually red and yellow. So in my Instagram post for these photos, I put them all together. That was fun. Again, just things that you see around the city, documenting that. A cool cafe. I think this is the Simulux 50 mil. I just borrowed it from Jason, took like five shots with it and put it down because I didn't want to feel tempted to buy one. Although the 50 mil Simulux is something that I really do want to buy one day. Right now I've got to get better at using a 35 mil. This is a cool event that we went to or exhibit hosted at Gallery 881. The photographer is Jeremy Jude Lee and then I think it was Megan Kwan did the gallery design and the graphic design for this. Project. I do like this laugh, but that's about it. Keep it going. Um, something with transport, honestly. I'm noticing that I'm taking a lot of photos with different modes of transport. And that's been interesting to me. Uh, dug this guy's outfit. And again, in his own world, everybody else is kind of mingling or looking at things, but he's just kind of like lost at looking at something. So. I think I might add that to that little running series. I just love the colors in this this photo. I think this is the original though. So it did do a lot of work. Cause yeah, retaining the highlights is top priority when it comes to this camera. You know what? Why not? I like it. Transportation, we'll add that. Doggos, I mean, definitely doing a doggo series, honestly. Uh, that's a pretty photo of her. I've been reading a lot of Freddy here. Warm that up a bit. Take that white down. No, I don't like that photo. This is a cool outfit. I just like the texture, but kind of blah. Nope. 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 I haven't had coffee today. That's why. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get coffee. I'm so fucking sleepy. 